last intro, I used one of those words that YouTube don't like. So anyway, today, welcome to Englishman Foodie. I'm Englishman in Water, by the way, and if you want to follow me on those other links, there's a below, there's Englishman in Water, Englishman Foodie, Englishman Travel, and there's a new one, Englishman Jokes, where you'll find a laugh and a joke a day, many corny jokes. Anyway, it's a cold, blustery, wintry day here in Malta. It's almost around sort of 17 C. I don't know what that is in the other one, but we're going to do something warming, something fast, something yummy, something easy, and something warm that tummy a bit. It's going to be a touch of everything, a bit of Maltese. Uh, bit of English, Worcestershire sauce, <laughs> some Worcester sauce, some Maltese. Anyway, come and have a look. Let's put you down here. Steve, why are you sitting down? Oh, I gave the cameraman a day off. What? Only the sound man is going off as well, he's sick. Anyway, here we are, Englishman and food. Englishman food. <laughs> Get it out, Steve. <sighs> I don't know. Today we're going to do something fast, easy, and yummy. I've done it many times. Uh, there's two ways to do it. Do it on the hob, leave it on the hob, or I do partly on the hob, put it in a casserole, and put it in... Right then, Steve, let me just check. Have you got that oven on? Is it warmed up? Well done. For the rest of you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tick that little bell for notifications of when Steve uploads new videos, because you wouldn't want to miss anything, would you? Talking about missing anything. Uh, yeah, is it switched on? Well done, Steve. And um, for the fact of it could be worse, you could be married to me. Well, you should be so lucky. Bye. Thank you, Anne. Anne's a lovely, lovely lady from down in the... Ah, oh, I love that place where she's from, in Cornwall. It's heaven. Did you know well, Cornwall was a different country in the old days? Anyway, that's history, eh? Tell us about the history, Anne, of Cornwall. Today we're going to do something very fast, easy. Even I can do it. It's going to be a bit of a mixture of Maltese, French... Uh, bit of English. In fact, there's two bits. Anyway, I'm going to go through them. Lovely Maltese beef. Steve, does Malta have cows? Yes, we do. We don't have them out in the pastures. They are in sort of farms and they have big areas, but they, they're a little bit more, we, we don't have green pastures, but it comes out lovely. The beef and the pork and the chicken, we have everything. We've got everything in Malta. Anyway, this is Maltese beef. And it looks lovely. It's got some nice fatty bits on it. It's a bit like, uh, whatever the technical word for it, it's got some fat lines in it. It looks, it looks good anyway. Got a Maltese knife, Maltese garlic. Well, this is debatable whether it's Maltese garlic, because I bought it from a Maltese uh, market but normally I think it's a different time of year the Maltese comes like a spring onion the Maltese garlic and it's very powerful uh, but this anyway we'll say we're not sure definitely a Maltese onion because it has these brown bits in it Maltese tomato paste they call it conserva here in uh, in Malta now this is a bit some of you wouldn't know, it's celery. But here in Malta, celery is quite small. And celery, we get it free when you go to buy to the vegetable store. Are you, are you going? Oh, okay. When we go to the uh, vegetable store, Torsin and, uh, is Torsin and, I forgot. Tell me in the comments, celery, Torsin. Anyway, we get it free. We say, give, give me a bit of Torsin and uh, whatever it is, this celery. Uh, and it gives you a big handful because it grows wild, sort of, in their fields. Some little bits of carrots. <laughs> I thought I had carrots here, but I got a bit... Anyway, we won't talk about the carrots. They're Maltese. Some French. Oh la la. I like to put this in. Either I put some herbs of Italian or uh, Taprovence. And this is quite nice. It's got bay leaves in, 
Anyway, it's got a lot of nice things and it gives it a, a good flavour. This is what's just just the sauce. <laughs> I'd love to hear the Americans say, what's the sauce? Anyway, Liam Perrin's what's the sauce, the original. That's what I, I always buy that. Now I bought this from uh, the supermarket. We started getting Morrison's here. Uh, Morrison's is a big supermarket in UK. Many of my UK uh, uh, supporters would watch it. Morrison's, but it's new potatoes. And I thought I'll have a bash of it about a month ago. And I thought I'll have a taste of them and they're, and they're lovely. And what's good about them, they're perfect size. No peeling, no messing about. Just dump it in. Salt and pepper, or in Maltese we say bazaar or mel. Some oxo, which is English. Hopefully it's uh, all dissolved. A bit of stock anyway, you just bung a bit of stock in there. If you've got some vegetable stock in it, and that's sort of, If you want to be a vegetarian, well, you'll have to move on from this one. And we've got La Torre, the tower. Maltese uh, Cabinet Savion. Always use a wine you could drink. Why put a vinegar wine in, a, in, a, in something that you're gonna eat? I don't know, I don't understand that. I, uh, this La Torre is not expensive, it's about three, three something euros. So it's a, a medium wine. I mean, don't put a high class, <laughs> high class wine in there. Well, you can if you want, if you've got the money. Why not? Hey, I'm a bit short on, I thought I'd got, oh, there's enough here. I was a bit short on uh, paste. I might have to go and open another one. Anyway, we're gonna start off. We're gonna do the beef. There's the, there's the garlic, onions, carrots, uh, celery, some herbs of some cause, potatoes, uh, wine, stock, uh, Worcester sauce, and some kind of paste, uh, tomato paste. But don't put in a tin of tomatoes because that changes it completely. So let's get the, the oven's on the go, thanks to Anne, because I've, I forgot all about it. We're going to get the pan on the go with some oil. And I've got a casserole. Now, I, you can with this one, and I've done it this one, do it all on the oven, on the, hub, on the hub top. But I find, if you want to, I've got, I, I'm one of these guys, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a scorpion and a monkey, uh, and I'm one of these guys that want to, I do lots of things at once. I hate to, I, I, I want to sort of do it and forget about it and come back to it and it's ready. I do lots of things. If you see my desktop on the computer, you'll go, oh God, Steve, what's going on? I got jobs and I do jobs here. And a typical Scorpio that likes to do all the jobs at once and hardly gets one finished. So I like to put it in the casserole after I've browned everything in, on, the, on the pan and, forget, and time it. 45 minutes to an hour. Mostly I, and I put, you know, like I've some, they say like leave it to half an hour before and put the potatoes in and do it. Oh, it's, that's faffing about for me. I just dump everything in and if the potatoes melt, more the better for the sauce. It becomes like a, a bit thicker. And these actually, they don't melt that much, the potatoes. They seem to hold them quite hard. Um, I put the sauce, so I put, even though I've, put, I've tipped out half of it, so because I don't want too much water in it, I use the water from here. Even I use the water from the vegetables, if I use a tin of vegetables. But lately I've been using a lot of frozen ones because they're really good. I tell you, here in Malta, we've got about three companies that do frozen vegetables. And the peas and the, and the beans and the mixed veg, they're all Maltese. And it's like excellent, you know, like for, it's the taste. And why all that messing about appealing if you wanna, if you want to do something like a mixed veg or something like you can buy a bag and just dump it in. And even the potatoes. Now, there, a lot of people would say, Steve, don't put that water in from the potatoes because it's salted. But wouldn't you boil your potatoes in salted water anyway, unless you've got a problem with high blood pressure, which, thank goodness, I'm doing good. I'm going to tell you a little thing. Shall I tell you now while this is heating up? I came across, I, I, I know this, I'm telling you too much here. But uh, I had a lot of bloating, and a lot of you know what. And I, I couldn't get rid of it. I was thinking, what's, what's going on? It's been on for about a year. And the doctor said, oh, it's, it's natural, but it's, it, it's more than natural. And I came across this. I saw, I saw it on YouTube. 
whole cloves. Now the taste, you, uh, it's like something as you say, oh, I can't taste, I can't get used to yogurt because it's too sour and I can't get used, but after a little while, I may give it about two or three days and you get used to it. I eat two in the morning, two lunchtime, two in the evening. Do you know it's gone? It's like the miracle that I had with mouth ulcers. I'll tell you another one with mouth ulcers while that's warming up. Ever since a kid, I had mouth ulcers. This is a bit of a Dr. Steve as well. I had very, 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 very bad mouth ulcers. Maybe two, three, four mouth ulcers at once. And uh, I carried on through life and uh, put this thing on, I go to the doctors, rub this in, nothing worked. And it was very painful, especially if whatever that thing is at the back. I had, I used to get them on that. And I think, oh, this is unbearable. And it was, it was terrible, the life, where well, you couldn't eat things. And somebody told me that, uh, spoke to this person, and she has one cod liver oil tablet per day. Don't miss it. You must have one per day. If you miss it, you can't pay. Do you know, three days after they stopped. And since this day, we're talking about 30 years now, guys. 30 years, I've never had, some, sometimes if I'm feeling a bit low with the flu, I get, I feel like I'm gonna get a mouth ulcer just on the edge of my mouth, but within a day, it's gone. Anyway, that's Dr. Steve. Welcome to Dr. Steve. Now we go back to English man foodie. We're gonna brown the beef. It's heated up a bit now. I'm gonna pull you over here in a minute and show you. But for the meanwhile, let's get the beef in. Get it brown. It's lovely. Uh, I was trying not to get too much of the the blood in there, but anyway, come over here, guys. Oh, you're a bit shriveled. What are you doing? Tell me something in the comments. You, I know there's a few there's a a few people that know more than me, which, <laughs> which is quite possible. Why do I see some people put flour uh, on the beef before they fry it? Is it to sort of stay in there and then when the sauce comes along, it thickens it up? It was, I didn't notice. Oh, do you like these tops? Are they good or they're deadly? They're like a gluten. I don't like them very much at all. I've cut, I've cut myself several times. Steve, why are you pulling that face? <laughs> this is a uh, tomato paste, and I was a bit. I maybe I want to put a, I want to put a tablespoon. Shall I put you over here so we can? I think you're seeing it anyway. Yeah, that's good. I'm browning the meat. I want to get a bit of a a bit of a crust on it. That's the uh, technical term because I did I did like about two weeks at culinary school. <laughs> hey guys, don't expect much from me. I'm I'm at home Saturday morning. I'm cooking a a casserole. I do my cooking. I always look for fast, easy recipes. Tasty. But fast and easy, it's brown and lovely. Come and have a look. I want to keep you in the picture. And this we, uh, and this we're gonna have just have some fun. My cooking is just, my cooking is just fun, easy. We have a laugh together, eh? Saturday morning. This guy, he uh, met this lady in a club, and they had a, a one night stand. I'm going to put some uh, herbs in. Anyway, went back to her place. You thought, whoa, I'm in here. And you know, like uh, salt and pepper. One thing leads to another and they end up in the, in bed. And after the deed, they're, like, they're lying there. Any notice on her bedside cabinet? A picture of a bloke, so he gets a bit curious. Salt and pepper, so that's in, herbs in. 
the province of. He said to her, Worcester sauce. She's a bit crusted now, so you can put a bit in. Normally I'll wait. Who's that bloke? A picture of that bloke there. She said, he said, Is it your husband? He was a bit. He was a bit uh, curious. She said, No, it's not my husband. Is it your boyfriend? No, no, it's not my boyfriend. Is it your brother? She said, he said, No, I don't have a brother. So said, well, Who is it then? Oh, she said, That's me. Before the operation. If you want to hear some jokes, Englishman jokes, the link is below. He only has 136 pooch guy. Eh? Anyway, it's, it's browning nicely. The, we're going to leave it for a few minutes, get it nice and crusty, and then we'll start adding to it. We'll bung it in the casserole, bung it in the oven, the heated oven. Thank you, Anne. And uh, Bob's your uncle. Nicely browned, even though with this light, I have to do something. Steve, you're always telling us that about this light, but still, set aside the uh, the beef, which has been browned. I'm going to put it over here. Uh, meanwhile, oh, by, while he was away, uh, what were you doing? Tell me in the comments. What were you up to on a Saturday morning? I'm not sure when this is going out, but my Saturday morning cook off put in the uh, chopped up onions while you were away and I might have to put a bit more I like to get all the um, the bits off the bottom now hey while you're away I chopped up the onions and I didn't I didn't they look a bit they look a bit scabby Steve yeah I know that's all I had in the bottom of the tray but for the casserole they're still firm just the skin and I'll leave the skin on the skin looks a bit but all our skin, I don't know what it is in Malta. Anyway, I bung that in as well. I'm gonna put, uh, give it a mix up. Get all that bits up from the bottom. Because it's important. Hey, some of those onions are a bit, what were you doing, Stevie, you're drunk? I, I tell you guys, and I let you into a secret. If you subscribe now, you're gonna smell this. I'm gonna put a bit more oil in because that'll get the bits off the bottom. Got a bit too burnt. Wow, that's the yeah, air, it's all coming off now. Look at that coming with the juice. I'm gonna fry these down a little bit. Get the onions caramelized, caramelized, blah, blah. Um, English was never my strong subject. To tell you the truth, even French and Maltese. <laughs> I, learned, I learned a bit of French when I was in school. Like, bonjour, comment allez-vous? Très bien, merci beaucoup. Au revoir, à bientôt. And I always remember, we had a teacher in the school. I forget what, oh, you know what our French teacher was called? Something froggy, something we called him, something, not to his face. He used to come behind you when you were talking and grab you by the sideburns and he said, uh, Selawaka. I don't know if you remember if he was French or what he was. Because <laughs> English is our, our second language. Bone the celery in. I do that because I want it intermingled. 
I can put it in after with the stock, I know. But I like it to take on a bit of... Uh, a bit of everything in together. And you know what, I'm going to put in a bit of more Worcester. Give it that extra flavour. And a few more pepper ones before I put in the casserole. Let's give it just a bit of a taste. Here. Oh, oh, disaster. Never mind, let's give it a wipe. What's the rule, guys? Is it 20 second rule? Hmm. You can do it for taste later on with the uh, salt and pepper. Now, I didn't have enough. You call it tomato paste, but here in Malta, they call it conserva. It's the same. It's very, very, uh, very thick. You can see it, look, guys. Very thick tomato paste. And normally I put like one and a half in there. And even that, the, the, uh, the moisture from that picks up all the bits. Hey, you're facing the wrong way. What are you doing? When you come out, I, and I want to have a word with you guys, especially you Englishmen in Malta, hooligans. The other day I did a walk to Zon All Point. Hi guys! Well, I showed you the north wild side of Malta. We're over in the south wild side of Malta. Welcome to Zon All Point. You must follow. You must follow those walks. It seems like uh, uh, an Englishman in Malta. The adventures are, are not so popular, but there's plenty of A over T's. Anyway, I'm going to roast that down a little bit. Everything's ready. All we got put is uh, the stock. I might put a bit of. Let me put a bit of. You now a big mistake, guys. <laughs> a big mistake. There wasn't enough. Oh, where's it gone? There wasn't enough to share, so I had to go to white. So always make sure you've got enough red. They're both Maltese wines, and they're blooming good. So I'm gonna cook that now. Just down a bit to get everything off the bottom. Bring it back up to the boil. Hey, it's good down this level, hey guys. Because if I did a video with me standing up, <laughs> you get the crutch shot. And that's not nice. Hey, I'm all casual today. I went out for a bit of a walk. I did a couple of videos out on the terrace uh, to the Patreons. The link is below. You can still join the Patreon if you want. You get this video before everybody else and you get all the rest of the travel one and the jokes one and the uh, Englishman in Malta. You'll get that first. So we're going to bring that up to the boil. We're going to put it back into the casserole. Add the, tom the potatoes because a lot of people wait half an hour before. But I don't do that. I can't be, you know what. I just want to stick everything going together, bung it in the oven that's already preheated. It's coming up to the boil now. I just want to get this uh, boiled. So it's got uh, onions, it's got celery, which is our weird celery, but I know in different parts of the world it's quite big, the celery. So you might have to cook it down even more. Our celery is very similar to parsley. It's a, it's a smaller version, but it's tasty. It's the same taste, but it's like... A, it's a little bit smaller and we get it for free anyway, so we can't grumble. So I put the carrots in, onions, and it was the bit of the stock of the beef, which I browned already. The Provencal, onions, garlic. I, like usual, I'll put a list of everything. I want to bring, it's boiling now, it's coming up to the boil. Time for a bit of a sip. Shame about the red wine. I thought I'd got another bottle. 
But ain't it weird, some of these bottles, you think it's red, and it's white, but it's in a dark bottle. I've been buying red lately, especially with the, the cold weather. I mean, it almost touched 17 today. Blooming cold. No, in the evening, it goes down to about 10. I think it was nine the other night, and we had ice as well. <laughs> I'm English bread and mortar, by the way. We do this, we do this foodie channel just for a bit of fun. I like to have a laugh. Maybe I'll start telling you a few jokes, but if you want to know the jokes, I've got about 100 jokes on this one, because I used to do it on Instagram and I posted those onto my shorts. I mean, there's no money in it, I just do it for a bit of fun. So if you want to, if you're feeling a bit depressed one time, go over to English Man Jokes and you'll get more depressed. Anyway, let's board up. We can put that straight in. Now, all the bits of the bottom, it's a, it's a, a clean pan now. I've got everything from the bottom. We can switch that off now. I need to just give it a bit of a... So there's the beef and the carrots and the onions and the garlic and the celery. I can move that out of the way now. I've got a bit of juice left in the potatoes. I'm going to put those in as well. Look how nice those potatoes. And what's nice about it? <laughs> No peeling and no and no uh, sort of blemishes on them at all. I've got the beef in there. Uh, I got some stock in here, but I think I've got plenty of there. I'm just going to put a bit in there. I might have to what I do, I have to thin thin it down a bit, but it should it should cook down a bit. Probably I should have not put the potato water in. Because I had quite a bit of that. It looks good though, guys. What do you think? I'm not going to tilt it up too much. What I do as well, I tell you a, a bit of a trick. You know the 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 stock and the bit, bits and pieces? I freeze it. And then sometimes if I do a quick steak or I do a chicken or something, I want a bit of sauce. Because I, I have to have sauce with my food. Because I can't, I can't see how people can... Eat dry food. I like, um, because we have fantastic bread here, guys. Maltese bread. If you're ever in Malta, please go and try the bread or the panini or the hops bazate with the bread. It's, it's very fattening, I know, but uh, anyway, it's preheated. We've got a little bit of sauce there, but it's nice to bubble away and I don't have to worry about it. And I can just go off and do some jobs, uh, stick on the computer, do some editing. And because uh, if I put it on the pan, I've got to be thinking about it all the time but that was that's really nice the water from the potatoes probably i shouldn't have put too much of that in i uh, should have had a bit left over for the clean down steve clean down anyway we're all ready we're going to be back 45 minutes to an hour uh, maybe we'll have to thicken it up a little bit that we'll put some stock in there some uh, corn flour or something like that but we'll see how it goes because sometimes it goes down uh, I put a lot of sauce in so I can just forget about it and maybe I'll just drain a bit out and just th thicken it up a little bit but the smell is fantastic and I'll be coming back soon Cheers, guys. Well, I think it's finished. It's been about just over the hour. I've been doing a lot of work editing of the, the next video. If you want to see the next video, you can go to Patreon. <laughs> I did a fantastic walk on the south side this time. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna have to stand up for this one because I might burn my, you know what? Oh, the smell is fantastic. Everything is gelled together. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm going to show you. Whoa, I tell you something. Ooh, it's bubbling like crazy. Come and have a look at this, Joe. 
Joe is here with me today. Joe used to be with me uh, on the Instagram jokes. I used to do many jokes on Instagram. A joke every day. And I transferred those now to uh, Englishman jokes. <sighs> Come have a look at this. I told you guys that potatoes, they stay together. It's all thickened up nicely. So let's give it a, let's give it a bash. Wow, it looks lovely. The smell is fantastic. Everything's all thickened up. Hey, Steve, not to me potatoes. They're fattening. Carrots, celery, onions. Ooh. We're going to do a quick switcheroo. Oh, I'll tell you something though. <laughs> Let's get a napkin. I could do with a bit of bread with this. The sauce has come up lovely. Oh, I haven't got a napkin. Let's have that bit of napkin then. Oh, look how tender this. Carrots are lovely. Just breaking apart. So tender. And look how firm the potatoes are. They're soft inside. It's blooming hot though. They're soft. Let me try and grab a bit. Because it's hard. Because as soon as you put the fork in. Now I came across these. Instead of peeling and chopping. and You know when you want to make a, a meal just for one. Or something like that. Uh, and most of this you can freeze. Can freeze it in portions and then uh, use it later. Oh, that's so lovely. So in inexpensive. Red wine, that's love. That's that toddy. If you ever come to Malta, I'm Englishman in Malta, by the way. Link is below. If you come to Malta, some great local wines. It toddy, the tower it is. Um, I'm not sure if it's made by, I've got rid of the bottle now, Delicato or something like that. But there's local wine, it's really good. And the Savion Blanc or something like that. Um, and then uh, some lovely reds as well. And, and they do some rosé as well. But the whites, the whites are, are really nice. And they have some good Chardonnays as well here. Oh, that's tender. Oh, wow. How nice. You know what guys? Come a bit closer. Hmm. I love that sauce. Look at the beef, it's firm, yet really tender. Just like that, uh, just like melts in your mouth. I came across these potatoes, you can buy different ones. This is, this is Waitrose, we've started having Waitrose here in Malta. How sweet the potato, the uh, I was a bit worried because they were a, they were a bit old. These carrots. I thought I had, and I looked in the in the bottom of the fridge, all the bits of scraps in the bottom, and I had these two carrots. But they came out lovely and sweet. Cheers, everybody. The winner is this sauce with onions, celery, garlic, herbs. Worcester sauce. So do the beef first, get it nice and brown. 
just some of that crispy bits on the edge. Set it aside, do the carrots and the onions and the celery. Really don't worry about what order you put it in. I would imagine if you just dump it all in the casserole, it would be a quick and easy one as well. But I like to get everything sort of intermingled with the celery and the herbs and the Worcester sauce. And then uh, the carrots, onions, garlic, put a bit of sauce in. I had a bit extra sauce, so I shouldn't have really put that potato water in, but it's got a bit of salt in it and you don't have to put too much salt in there. That's what I was thinking. And it, you know when I noticed when I, <coughs> I bought this before and I tipped the, some of the water away and I saw it like coloured and I thought, that's quite good. Probably there's some, some goodness in that. So the next time I used the sauce and it was very, very good. But you can't uh, blame this. It's, you can't fault it, I meant to say. The gravy is lovely and thick. After an, over an hour, the potato, look how firm. New potatoes. Remember the old days, guys? This is my English uh, people. We used to have uh, Jersey potatoes. Do, do you still have those? Bergerac country. Oh, that's tender. That's lovely. Everything came lovely. Don't use lovely too many times, do you? It's gorgeous. Everything came together lovely. <laughs> Everything came together marvellously. The flavour, the onions, the garlic, the Worcester sauce and the wine. You can mess around with it but though, if you want to put all the vegetables in. You don't have to put wine in if you're non if you're not an alcoholic like me. I noticed one. An Irish one with the Guinness. Oh, have you ever tried that guy? What would you put in this casserole? You can put a beer in it. Guinness inside it. Brandy. You know this, um, the meat is like firm and then really delicate inside like you just leave it in your mouth and it's almost melting just have a look at this oh i got onions the sauce garlic a bit of the celery in there Well, it's a success, guys. Give it a go. Tell me in the comments if you tried it, what you changed. Because change things, you don't have to do what I do. I had an idea, put a, a few more different vegetables in it. Maybe if you do cauliflower and uh, broccoli, you do it at the end so they don't melt too much. But that was really good, excellent. I'm not going to show what I'm going to call it. Quick, easy, fast. Beef casserole.